Greetings, friends slash dear listeners. So, wife and Lennox are away at Sly Park for the week uh, for sleepaway camp. Uh, I'm going to give you my perspective as a single dad for five days and four nights. I've been drinking a bang er day. So normally I make coffee for my wife and I, and I'll have a bang usually on Friday, uh, sometimes Monday if it's if if I, if getting going is is a little rough. If waking up and getting my uh, daily routine going is a is is just not coming so quickly, but uh, we have several bangs. Oh, we had seven or eight on Monday, uh, so I just started housing one per morning. Now, calm down, mom. Okay, we're not paying the liquor store price or the gas station price of a bang, which is three forty nine ish. Uh, we get our bangs at either grocery outlet or Dollar Tree for a buck. It's a bargain, and I'm going back to coffee uh, when my wife comes back, and that costs about three cents per cup. Uh, I haven't slept on my wife's side of the bed, nor the middle of the bed. I've stayed on my side of the bed due to habit. Uh, I just it, it, and it, and it looks odd because. The bed, my side of the bed is messed up, the the blankets and and whatnot. And then Carolyn's side of the bed is still made, still perfect. Uh, it's very odd. I just don't have now. When when I got get out of the bed, even in the morning, because uh, I usually I usually wake up before Carolyn. Uh, she hops in the middle of the bed. She hops on my side of the bed. Her bed is her, our bed is her domain. Uh, but I just I've just stayed on my side of the bed. Uh, prim and proper and waiting for my lady to return but I haven't been making the bed Carolyn makes a bed every day Uh, and I haven't made my side of the bed at all this week because I'm out here living my best life I'm doing me okay Uh, I slept with the light on every day every night Uh, Carolyn does not like lights on when we were at my parents house uh we're in my former bedroom which was david's bedroom for nearly a decade okay um but it's it's a nice size bedroom and uh there was a tiny lamp off in the corner way off into the corner uh that was on when we went to sleep when we were turning in about to go to bed and uh and she realized we needed it on just so we could see in the dark because I pee four to five times a night because I'm an old man. Um, but so she knew the light needed to stay on, but she didn't want the light to affect her sleep. So she piled up our luggage, like our bags and clothes and stuff on the table right in front of the lamp to block 90% of the lights, lamps light. Uh, I've always been able to sleep with the light on. I sleep with the light on. Yes, I know it waste electricity. I don't care. Uh, it goes back to college when my roommate, Chris Douthit, and I, uh, we lived on campus in the on-campus apartments. We shared a room. Uh, I would knock out, and he would stay up till God knows when, playing Age of Empires online. And he left the light on. And I didn't care. It didn't affect me. I still I still went to bed. I still passed out. I still fell asleep perfectly fine. So I'm a light on sleeper. The wife, not so much. How will we make our love work? Uh, I've left the toilet seat up. Okay. Yeah, that's right. 99% of the time I put it down uh, for, for Carolyn. Um, every once in a while, I forget. Or... Because I wake up in the middle of the night, like I said, many, many times to pee. So I leave it up all night. Uh, but when uh, sometimes she'll sneak a pee early in the morning <laughs> and it surprises me. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, oh, no, the toilet seats up. And I apologize. I said, sorry, baby. Sorry, baby. Please take me back. Please take me back. Uh, but I've kept the toilet seat up all week 
all day or day. Because I'm out here living my bachelor life, okay? And I, oop. I left the dryer sheet on the floor, so grab my laundry from the dryer, and it, inevitably a dryer sheet falls to the floor, to the carpet, and I left it there. And that would drive my wife nuts. Doesn't bother me. It's a dryer sheet. I'll get to it eventually. It's one piece. It's it's an item. Uh, and it, it's not dirty. It's fine. Uh, and so I left it there for hours, hours, I say. And I thought, yeah, that's right, woman. I'm doing me. You left me for Sly Park, and I'm leaving a dryer sheet on the flow. So before she left, uh, we we were eating food, making food. I forget what was going on exactly. Had a few condiments out, a few bottles of hot sauce and whatnot. And so I'm putting them back in the fridge, and uh, she's she's sitting there just at uh, at the counter. We're just hanging out, and she says, "When I leave, when I'm not here, you're not going to be able to put the bottles of sauce back." And I said, "Get the hell out of here, woman!" Lo and behold, the other day, I had various condiments out. I'm done eating. I go to put the bottles back, the sriracha, the hot sauce, uh, the the light ranch and whatnot. And I couldn't make the gosh dang bottles fit into the the side shelf in the refrigerator, on the refrigerator door. And I was like, wait, does the sriracha go here? Does the ranch go there? Does Where does the salsa go? And what, what am I supposed to do with this jar of barbecue sauce? Help, help, honey. I'm sorry. Honey, I need you. I need you. And that oop. Luna and I have been hanging, so how it's been working is come home, uh, I get her food, McDonald's slash Taco Bell, because it's fast food, it's cheap, I can order it through the app and just walk in and it's ready, I just grab it and go. Uh, so come home, deliver her food, I am honored and proud to be her DoorDash driver. We have a little yap sesh. Uh, while she eats her din din, her dinner, uh, and then I go take a shower because I'm disgusting. Uh, and then we retired to our separate quarters. Sometimes she gets hungry for something else, and she'll come in and say hi. Sometimes she'll be Frankie. She'll bring Frankie in, and she does a little thing where she uh, kind of props him up, and he does a little dance, and I do the da 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 da, da and then she moves his <laughs> straight arms his stiff arms uh it's a grand old time uh and so it's been good she's 15 okay now if she was a baby a toddler whatever six years old it would be a different story as far as uh, caretaking on my end but she's good um she's been getting a ride from to school from her friend thank thankfully uh i was gonna start dropping her off uh, this week, um, but I would have had to do it heck early because I got to be at work early, earlier than uh, Carolyn usually does. Uh, but overall, it's been lovely. So, uh, and that oop. Carolyn said I couldn't watch new the new episode of Below Deck that aired this week. But while the cat is away, the mice will play. Hmm. Just kidding. I would never, I would never violate the sanctity of watching a television show without my woman. And 80% of that show is enjoying it with her. Like we, when the stupid, the idiot cast members do something outrageous, we look at each other and our eyes uh, open wide and we're like, we're surprised and in awe of what's happening. Or uh, we yell at the TV together and we say, you're annoying. Shut up. You're so stupid. This is so stupid. Move on. Move on. And that oop. But yeah, I would never watch uh, Below Deck without my lady because she's part of the enjoyment. She's part of the experience. Uh, But I have been watching Girls 5 Eva. That's girls, the number five, E-V-A, all one word. It's about a... 
90s girl group that had uh, a hit song, One Hit Wonder. And then uh, they faded into obscurity and regular lives, but they're mounting a comeback to try to uh, catch the glory of their youth. It's an excellent send-up of pop culture and uh, pop music and the music industry and celebrity and fame and how fickle uh, the public can be with entertainment. Um, it's hilarious. Tina Fey is a producer. Excellent send-up. Very, very well written. Uh, very well acted. Uh, if you like parody um, of, uh, of, of show business uh, in a comedy form, definitely watch Girls 5 Eva. I've also watched Commando, Let Off Some Steam, Bennett. Arnold, give us Commando too. It's what we all want. Okay. Uh, and then I watched the new Fallout uh, show last night. It's on Amazon Prime. It's based on the video game, which I never played. Uh, it's good. Uh, it's, it's off to a decent start. I'll keep watching. Uh, it's not great, but hopefully it improves. Um, so that's what's happening with me. Carolyn and Lennox are coming home tomorrow. I can't wait to hug and kiss my musty wife. Uh, and uh, yeah, she's, she's a part of me. She's a part of my life. I miss her like crazy. I've uh, been texting and a few phone calls here and there. Her her calendar is very regimented up there. I, I, I don't get it, but I'll get more details and we'll share them with you, dear listener, uh, on the pod when she gets back. It's going to be a blockbuster episode, episode. Until then, take care, brush your hair. I'm Audi 5000 G-Money. Peace out.